Hey traders, this is Ron Haydat, Market Tamer. Happy November. Hope you guys had a great first day of the month. As always, nothing in this presentation shall constitute a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Trading stocks and options involves risk and specific financial issues should always be addressed with your financial advisor. We'll kick off here with the Diamond ETF, the Dow. The markets in general were up nice today. The DIA was up 1%, about two and a half bucks, and they closed above the red line. Now, the fly in the ointment, volume was really pathetic, to be frank. But you can't argue with what the chart is showing. And that has the Dow above the 200-day SMA in purple, big institutional moving average, the five-day EMA in blue, and now a 20-day EMA in red. So not only is the five-period bullish, but now the 20-period bullish was actually, was actually looking out over a month in time, five trading days per week times four weeks a month. The next target, 50-day SMA, that's around 258 and a half or so. And then it's back up at those highs. So from a trailing stop perspective, something I might consider if I want to be bullish on the market using the DIA would probably be the five day right now. I really want it to stay above there. But with the 200 day coming in right here, I could go to that. But it really can't get below that line because if we fall back below those moving averages right there, that puts these lows back at 245 on the table. So as of right now, I'd say 200 day potential stop target up here. And this is typically the time of the year when the market puts in a bottom. Last week of October, first week of November. Now we have the midterms, the elections coming up. That's putting a little bit of uncertainty in the market, which is also leading to part, you know, some of this decline. The VIX, we can actually look at right now, um, it did drop almost 9% today, but it's still at 1934. You would think it might be already back down in the 17s, 16s, or 15s, uh, given the rate we're starting to bottom here. But I think it's staying elevated you know, specifically because the elections are still there. There's still some hedging going on. Now, if we move to the SPY, which I have a bullish position in, again, we can see the decline. We are right at that 275 mark I said to keep an eye on. The 20-day EMA is at 275. The 200 days basically right there as well. We get above both of those. That's bullish target 50-day and then target previous highs. The Qs. Zoom in. They got above the 200-day, but they did not get above the 20-day. They're just pennies away. The 20-day EMA in red closed at 172.50. We're at 0.06. It's not much. You know, 44 more cents will be their target than 50-day in orange and then back up to the previous highs. IWM tacked on 2.3%. Really strong day for the small caps, but they stopped cold, interestingly enough. At their 20 day EMA, we get above that target 200, target 50, and then back up to the highs. Overall, the markets are shaping up in a bullish technical picture. A little bit of caution out there, VIX is still a little up, and the elections are coming around. But right now, directional bearish trades, you're sort of fighting the trend because the trend now is pointing upward. Let's talk about Apple, and this might influence tomorrow a little bit. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. But if I pop open my panel here and I show you Apple, as I do this video, it's about 5 20 p.m. Eastern. Apple announced earnings. They beat estimates, but there's lower than expected iPhone demand, and the future guidance was a little on the cautionary side. So the stock closed at 222.22, <laughs> and right now it's being bid at 211 something. So we're down about 10, 11 bucks. If I zoom in on a chart on Apple and I try to show you where 211 is, it's right here at that low, just from a couple days ago. So back on, you know, Friday's close. I'm sorry, Monday's close, and there's Tuesday. We're right in here. I'm going to say ballpark it at 210. If we stay above 210, we're still in a trading range. Below 210, target gap fill and 200 day. So interesting to see how Apple trades tomorrow. With tomorrow being Friday, the bears had their chance on Monday. Markets are now bottoming. Unless the markets roll over hard, Apple should probably stabilize. From what I read, it wasn't that bad. And, you know, longer term, I'm still bullish on Apple is my personal outlook. All right, let's look at another stock, DWDP. Uh, Here is Dow DuPont. This stock jumped 8% today on huge volume. It did put in a bit of a high wave doji. However, we are above the 20 day EMA in red. Target is now, let me put this over there, the 50 day. Of course, you can go 200 day and then back up to the highs. You know, 67.50 would be the start of the old support, the old trading range. That's still a good ways for a stock like Dow DuPont. That's not your highest beta type stock. Here is Snapchat. I bring this one in because we've talked about it before and it's pretty much been a dog and we talked about it when it breaks support and it could just keep dropping. And that's what's happened here. It just kept going and going the Energizer bunny, so to speak, in the wrong direction. 
Well, now we're starting to see a bit of a pop. Earnings was here, it gapped down, but closed at the highs of the day. That could have been a bit of a capitulation. This is only a $7 stock, so I thought I'd bring something different in. Today's pop was almost 9%. The next resistance is the 50-day. Well, as it stands today, that's basically eight and a half bucks. That's a buck 30 higher. It's almost 20%. If you think about it, that'd be like a $77 stock going to you know 86. So from a stock share perspective, it's a big move. And then above the 50-day, I mean, holy moly, 12 up into the 200-day, somewhere up here would be the next target from a technical perspective. Here's another stock to keep an eye on. This is Weibo. We brought this, or Weibo, depending how you want to say it. Um, it almost sounds like that TV commercial. <laughs> um, but the stock was up 12% today, and we've looked at it previously, and we said, hey, it needs to get above the orange line. And if you look at earnings, 11.5 at the market open. Now, 11.5 is going to be Monday, but the stock popped today. If this company doesn't have some kind of massive gap up on earnings, there's a long way before it starts finding resistance at 100 bucks. That's 50% higher. And then some overhead supply areas. So we're just going to watch this one for earnings. Hopefully it doesn't have that big move higher. You know, a nice little 5% jump up on earnings. That would be, to me, a nice move. We get some good volume. Make me feel more bullish technically about the stock. Then there's a lot of real estate to potentially play. If this thing would jump all the way up here, it's basically a, it's dead on arrival. It's just no longer a good reward to risk ratio for me. And we're bringing in some casino stocks. These things have been just getting sold 99 ways to Sunday, not even nine ways to Sunday. Win, now it's had its own problems with Steve Wynn, up near 200 bucks. Now it's at 100. So in less than half a year, it's lost 50% of its cap, its share value. Today's pop, even in front of earnings, which is still six days away, according to Thinkorswim, big, big volume above the 20-day. Immediate target, even in front of earnings, would be the 50-day SMA in orange. If we take a look at MGM, they had a 4.5% pop today. Now, their earnings report is already over. It was back here, gap, gap, and we're breaking the 50-day, a second day in a row. We're basically challenging a previous high. At this point, from a technical perspective, it's really hard not to argue against. It's hard to argue against this stock break not breaking out. Let me just draw this. If I take the closing highs, we've broken. If I take the absolute highs, we're basically right on it or teetering on breaking it. So maybe a little bit more, but otherwise target 31 bucks, which is the 200 day and the top end of that consolidation in July. Then if you look at Las Vegas Sands, huge move, almost 12% today, massive volume, twice what yesterday was. In this one, you could make an argument and say, well, we didn't break the downtrending line, but you got the big volume. You closed the highs of the day. Maybe you wait for the 50 day moving average if, if I'm thinking bullish. And then above there, it goes to the 200 day. So, so there's some casino stocks showing life. Caesars, CZR is not showing much of anything overly attractive. So I'm just going to skip that one. So there you have it. Some stocks to watch in the casino sector. WB, Dow DuPont, and of course, Apple to see how it trades tomorrow as well. I wish you guys a fantastic Friday and a super weekend ahead. Take care.